Well, Baya was written during quarantine, and Jason and I were in the States for five months. Na abutan kami ng lockdown don. I knew I wanted to close the Patawad era a certain way, but I just couldn't figure it out. And then Jason comes up to me and shows me, babe, I have a chord pattern. So I listened to it, and then I said, Ta -da 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 da 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 Jason started tearing up and then he said, okay, be right back. Goes up hours later, gives me a poem, and then we made a story, and that's how Paubaya happened. A month later, we na kami ng Manila, and we chose around 10 to 15 fans, and we told them we have a new song, and it's the closer of the whole album, but we have no title for it yet. So it was actually one of the fans that named Paubaya, and that's how Paubaya came to me. So Jason had this idea of having a wedding scene, of having vows be said and not kept. And then I stepped in and said, but what if instead of saying wedding vows, they say their parting vows? So that was the initial idea. And then that's when we called Direct Nick and Direct Dan. Um, during the conceptualization, Moira and Jason already had this concept about the entirety of the video. From just typical sad scenes to just making them all happy scenes. Because at the end of the day, what actually hurts us in our memories are the good times, the could-have-beens, the what-ifs. The happy memories that we were counting on to sustain a relationship. So for the Paubaya music video, we wanted to be realistic with emotions, with forgiveness, with what goes on in the heads of people who are actually going through this. As soon as we finished the song, we already knew that we really wanted Josh and Julia to do it. We've been friends with them for um, since Torete. I met Julia because she used to get me as her band that I was sessionista for her birthday parties in 2016. 2017, Love You To The Stars happened and I became the singer of the theme song for Torete, which Direct Nick and Direct Dan were also part of. And that kind of kick-started that whole season with them and just becoming friends with them and getting to know how good they are, how kind they are, how professional they are and it was that time also that Jason and I started becoming their biggest fans. On and off screen, we love them so much. But even without the friendship, we would still be their biggest fans. And I am really, really happy that, that it was them. I can't imagine Paobaya having any other actor with them. You could really see the new relationship that Josh and Julia has found and the freedom they found also being on set again. Um, and also us just watching them, seeing our story come to life. We really learned so much. See, Amazing. Josh and Julia, <laughs> it was actually my first time working with them. Sobrang dali nilang ka-work. Alam mo yung professionalism nila is there. Uh, once you hit the, the action button or the record button, you know, magic. Joshua and Julia has this <laughs> undeniable chemistry. Alam mo magla last forever. Once they look into each other's eyes, there's something different about them. There is something na titingin palang sila sa isat isa. May sumasabog ng feelings. Kumbaga, wala pang salita, wala pang kahit ano, may feelings na.
Oh, the team was so great. Everyone was so game. Everyone on set respected each other's brains, how their minds worked. Everyone was constantly amazed with what each artist on set had to bring. Um, artists including our director, our DOP, um, Jason, um, me, Josh and Julia. Everyone had something to bring to the table. Everyone had something to contribute to the story. And it was so light. One of the many things that really amazed me was the humility of direct Nick Ablao. Usually, pag, pag naisip mo na boss to, hindi mo siya mabibigyan ng suggestions eh. With direct Nick, she, she's not just open to your suggestions, she welcomes it. And I think that's what makes her such an effective director because she listens and she respects the minds of the creatives around her and she grows from that and she builds from that. And that's why I really believe my storytelling was even more effective because I had such an effective director to back me up. The set was just a group of people celebrating each other, respecting each other, and telling a story together. We had two main emotions on set. When Direct Nick says action, all of us were crying. When she says Scott, all of us were laughing. It wasn't just a fun and light set. It was also one of the most satisfying moments in my life when after a whole day of shooting, when everyone's usually exhausted, we were left with gratitude and joy. That yung, yung joy na nadadating lang pag nasatisfy yung passion mo, pag nagawa mo ng buong buo. We were all just so grateful for each other. Yung experience namin sa set, kabaling teren siya nung na-experience ng tao while they're watching the video. There was never a dull moment, actually. Parang laging nagtatawanan, ganon, after each take. May, may learning kami from each other. We learned from Derek, we learned from Moy, we learned from Josh and Julia. Everyone was just uh, taking it all in sa set. Actually, Josh, Julia, Jason, and I, um, we had been meeting a lot before the actual shoot and we all talked about what we wanted to say. What Jason and I had initially because we wanted to make it, you know, from wedding vows to parting vows is to put the lines of the songs all throughout the Patawad album that promises freedom and total forgiveness. So, like, a line in Patawad Paalam, at ang huling pangakong maibibigay ay sa ating dalawa ay wala nang sisihan. Line from Handa Awit by Brian V, which is the first track of my album. Handa na akong muling sumugal. Handa na akong muling magmahal. Handa na akong lumabas sa aking bangka kahit ilang beses na akong nagtangka at lumubog at nalunod sa kasinungalingan na ang pag-asa ay isang pantasya na binubulag ako sa katotohanan. And a lot of us feel that. A lot of us feel that hope is just a way to blind you from the truth, but it's not. I wanted to make sure that the lines said you are not a hopeless case because you are not. And basically, they, they got that. They, they embodied it, and they said it in their own words. Feb 14, because it's a day of love. And a lot of us feel that love is staying together, but sometimes love is setting people free. I, for one, am very, very blessed to have a husband who loves me, who takes care of me. But I've also been in a place where I didn't have that privilege. And I know that a lot of people are in waiting. Maraming naghihintay, maraming nagpatawad, maraming nagpalaya at nagpaubaya. And I wanted to make sure that those people know that they are understood, that they are not alone. Masakit man yung pinagdaanan nila, pero hindi sila nag-iisa. When we got to tell Moy's story of how she felt about the song or how the song was for her, um, parang doon mo mas maintindihan yung 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 another uh, essence of love. I mean, yun, sobrang lalim pala nung love for Moy. 
So if you watch um, till the very end of the video, you will see my logo. And if you watch a little longer after that, you will see that the snowflake will change into a flower. And that signifies the end of winter and the beginning of spring. And spring is about hope. The growth of new leaves. Para makarating yung bago, kailangan mo na mawala ng luma. For new leaves to be able to grow, old leaves must fall. That's what the Malaya album, which is season one, is all about. Winter is Patawad album. A lot of times we want instant gratification. In order to find something that will last, we need to learn how to wait and not rush anything. So the whole Patawad album is, is about forgiveness like its title. It's about letting go, it's about setting people free, it's about finding freedom in forgiveness. All of these things aren't really successful if you do it on your own. That's why you have to leave it to God and surrender it to God because only He can make the broken things beautiful again. Isn't it such a great thing that what used to bring you pain, when you share it to other people, it now brings them freedom. What used to hurt you, what used to take away your hope, is now bringing hope to people. Karamihan sa atin, kapag hindi nagkatuluyan yung dalawang tao, iniisip natin, that is the definition of a failed relationship. But we often forget that people enter into dating to see whether or not this is the person they want to spend the rest of their lives with. Just because two people didn't end up together doesn't mean it was a failed relationship. We can also choose to see it in a way that, wow, I got the privilege of knowing and loving and learning from this person, even if it was just for a short time. We can choose gratitude over bitterness. We can choose joy over pain. We can choose freedom over guilt. And we can choose love. And we can choose forgiveness. And just because you're not gonna continue that in the seasons to come doesn't mean it was a failed one. From here on, I will choose to remember the good times because you are still worth it. Craving the perfect lasagna? Food Panda Shops. Ingredients delivered in three... That. It was so freeing for all of us. And I'm so grateful that I got to work with Direk Nick and, and Kuya Dan and Josh and Julia. Jason and I are so grateful. My band is also there. And the team behind the scenes. We couldn't have done it without them. So on behalf of my entire team, Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for making Paubaya the breakthrough that it is. Maraming salamat sa pagtanggap sa mensaheng pagpapatawad, pagpapalaya, at pagpapaubaya. 